My satellite radio died. Let's get started. I've been a Sirius satellite subscriber now for about six years, and the last three of those years I've been using this uh, little radio here. This is a Stiletto SL10, and probably the last three or four months it's been dying a really slow, painful death, and it finally died probably about a week or two ago. I was going to replace it with a new radio, uh, but given the prices of some of the new ones, especially the one that I thought about buying, uh, I decided against it. And what I'm going to do is use my, uh, my cell phone as my device, uh, because I have the uh, radio app, or the Sirius app that's on my phone, and that works really well. The one problem that I have, though, is that my car does not have an auxiliary line in, so I don't have a way to plug my phone into uh, the radio that's in my car. And I'm certainly not going to get a brand new radio just to, uh, or a brand new car radio anyways, uh, just to listen to satellite. So I needed to come up with uh, an alternative. What I've decided to do is actually uh, add an auxiliary line in to the radio in my car. Or at least I'm going to try to anyways. Uh, I have a 2004 Cadillac CTS. Uh, it's a base model. And the radio in my car is actually very basic itself. It just has AM, FM, and CD. Um, this little schematic here uh, I found over at a Cadillac Forums um, user group that I'm a member of and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out because I definitely want to give credit to the the guys that put this together. Uh, so this is actually going to let me plug in my phone or any other um, aux device uh, into a plug and then I'll have a little switch that will let me toggle between uh, that device uh, and the radio. Now this is made using um, some Radio Shack parts that I picked up today and I probably could have gotten it for a lot cheaper if I just used some generic parts online but you know I figured I'm gonna stick to the script uh, and use what was listed and it was only about maybe 20 or 30 bucks definitely less than 30 bucks for everything and for me that you know that's just fine here are the parts that I got from Radio Shack uh, a switch the uh, headphone jacks. Now I only need one, uh, but this was a package of two, which is okay uh, in case I mess up. Uh, a circuit board, which is going to let me mount all my parts to. A couple of relays, and a project enclosure. And this is just a little plastic box that I can mount uh, this stuff into, uh, so it'll be protected when I install it in the car. Uh, check the description below, and I'll leave a parts list with the links over to Radio Shack, so you can uh, check those out. Uh, also, I'm going to need some wire, which I have from uh, previous projects, so I didn't have to buy that. And I also have some shrink tubing, which I don't know if I'm going to need, uh, but it's nice to have uh, to keep things neat. Here's the disclaimer that I think should be part of the video here. Uh, number one, I'm not a uh, audio electronics guy. Uh, I'm pretty good, or fairly decent, I should say, with uh, soldering iron and understanding uh, electronics diagrams and that kind of stuff so uh, I feel really comfortable doing this uh, it's my car and uh, I'm not terribly worried about screwing anything up inside but you know there's always a possibility that you can electrocute yourself or you can give yourself um, you know a lot of headaches especially if you uh, screw up the wiring in your car so before you do any of this stuff uh, you know make sure that you know what you're doing starting to work on the parts a little bit now. Uh, this is one half of that breadboard that I showed you before. It's perforated on the side so you can just snap it in half here. And I had to go ahead and file in some notches here so that it would fit in the project box and then I also had to widen this hole a little bit so that I can actually get a screw in there into the bottom of the box and I'll show you what that looks like here. So here's the project box. I don't know if you can actually see in there or not. Uh, on the side here, let's see if I can get some light in here, there are these ridges right over here. And that actually is preventing me from putting this in there. Now you would think that Radio Shack would actually build parts that fit together, but they don't. <laughs> so um, you have to cut the notches in uh, so that I can actually get the part fit in that way. So at least um, the breadboard fits in there and uh, right there uh, I had to widen that hole so I could get a screw to hold this in. Making progress. 
It seems like every time I do a project like this, something happens that uh, ends up being a problem. And I thought originally that it was going to be this, uh, this board with the notches. But that was actually pretty easy to fix. Um, you can see the two relays uh, on the board. I haven't soldered anything. I just put it on there for a check here. And then you'll see the problem as I rotate. <laughs> uh, the tops of the relays actually protrude past the top of the case. So you can't get the cover on and it won't close. So I won't be able to use this box. Uh, I'll have to figure that out later, uh, but I can still go ahead and get this wired up and tested. Through the magic of video editing, you're actually seeing this immediately after the last segment. Uh, but in reality, this took me a few hours to, to uh, put together and get done. Uh, mainly for neatness sake, more than anything else. Uh, I wanted to make sure that all of the solder points were uh, as neat and as clean as possible. And I wanted to make sure that I had all the um, cables uh, or the wires labeled uh, properly uh, so that when I finally get this in the car I actually know what's going to go where. Uh, also um, these wires are probably a little bit longer than I need them to be uh, but I wanted to give myself enough options uh, so that I can actually route these neatly when I get to the car uh, so I thought that was important. And I also uh, took the time to label each one so that I know you know what they're supposed to go to once I get them uh, uh, get ready to install and then looking at the um, you know schematic I tried to keep this as neat as possible uh, as well so that uh, I was double and triple checking to make sure that everything was plugged in correctly now I did not um, plug in the switch just yet and that's mainly because uh, a couple things number one I think this actually might be too big for where I want to put it in the car um, you know, so I didn't want to, you know, uh, solder this at all uh, until uh, I knew if, if it was going to fit or not. Uh, but also, uh, I just want to make sure that the, the switch works properly. Um, so I didn't want to go ahead and, and, and permanently attach anything to it until I, I knew that it was going to work. Uh, I made sure that I tested all of my leads uh, so that I had good connections using my multimeter, uh, especially here at the uh, headphone jack. Now, um, I was, you know, double and triple checking to make sure that I had everything um, set proper. And I know I mentioned that already, but I think that's important because, um, you know, you are spending money to put this together, or at least I, I mean, I spent money to get the parts here. And I want to make sure that, you know, everything is as, as good as I can make it uh, so that I'm not uh, having to redo it after the fact. It's sort of, you know, uh, measure twice, cut once, but in my case, it was, you know, check multiple times before I actually commit to soldering anything and putting everything down. Uh, this is what the other side looks like. And you can, it is kind of like a big, you know, jumbled mess of wires, but it is actually relatively neat. All right, here's the setup so I can uh, show you how this is supposed to work. Uh, I'm using an older ATX power supply to give me 12 volts to power this whole thing. Uh, over here on the left is my cell phone plugged into the aux in. On the right is my tablet uh, that's uh, simulating the radio in my car. Uh, I have both uh, sort of tuned in to a couple of different uh, videos uh, on my channel. And then the entire thing is plugged into a couple of uh, cheapo speakers that I had laying around. So the way that it works is um, when the switch is sort of in the off position, then the audio is going to be driven from uh, the radio, uh, which is my tablet. So if I play that, you can kind of hear it coming through the speakers and I've got it a little bit lower so it's not overpowering and when I want to listen to the audio source coming from the aux in I just hit the switch light turns on and then you can hear me in the background there so then I can switch in between the two just by hitting the switch. So pretty cool. Okay guys, that's going to do it for me for this particular video. Um, definitely have a few more things to do before I can get this in the car. Have to find a little container to put this in. Uh, and I think I'll probably end up using like a little Rubbermaid container. Uh, which should work out okay. Uh, I need to make sure that it's small enough because I'm not sure how much space I have behind the radio. Uh, one other sort of second disclaimer here is that um, 
I'm probably not the right guy to ask uh, questions to uh, when it comes to like uh, how to wire something or why isn't something working or anything electronics related as far as troubleshooting. Um, I think I lucked out a little bit because this works sort of the first way through, but um, you know, the best I'll be able to tell you is to go ahead and um, do a search online because I'm, I'm really not the guy, the right guy to ask. Um, check out the description below. You'll find links over to the uh, forms where I got this from, uh, as well as the uh, two users that actually put this together uh, because I definitely want to give them credit. Uh, also down there, you'll find uh, links to Twitter and Google+. Plus. Uh, follow me there. You'll get updates on when new videos are posted. Like and subscribe because that helps me out a ton. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. For the magic of video editing, you're actually seeing this uh, immediately after the last segment. But this actually took me uh, a couple hours to...